All right, guys, so we're back at it again. Uh, definitely, um, thank you guys so much for participating in our giveaway and stuff. Don't forget to comment down below on that. Uh, so let's get into this episode here. I figured I'd give you guys a uh, double bang for your buck here in this deal. All right, so we got a lot of stuff we got to do. We got a lot of maintenance stuff we got to do on the car and stuff after our very first fire up. And uh, let's get into this. Let's talk about some issues. Let's talk about some things we got left to do and uh, we'll go from there. So sit back and enjoy. All right, so first up, what in the world is this cardboard thing here on top of the motor? Um, I'm actually designing up my own um, engine intake tool caddy, okay? Um, this thing will have holes in it for like spark plugs to sit in here, um, different wrenches, AN wrenches, uh, valve lashing tools, that, that sort of stuff, and then, you know, like a handle in it stuff so you can take it on and off and then down here on these legs we'll put like some foam on it or something so it ain't scratching nothing up uh, this is just so like when you're working on the motor i'm not having to constantly just lay tools everywhere and lay them and go over here to my toolbox and back and forth back and forth it just when i'm working on the motor there's really and truly just a small amount of tools you're really and truly using you know and, and that's about it you know intake tools an wrenches you know stuff like that um, if you guys have any suggestions of what tools you think should go in this, comment down below as well. Um, I, I always like y'all's input because y'all may think of something I don't think of. But I'm um, working on that. What I'll do is now I've got all these templates and stuff made up, I'll probably send this off to dad, let him cut out all the aluminum panels on his plasma table, and then we'll weld it up and stuff, and we'll do an episode on that. So that's coming as well. All right, so after the startup video which you guys got to see um right before christmas uh which is really really awesome by the way i'm very very happy with uh we got some maintenance stuff to do um so first major problem that we had was we couldn't get the timing light to work so we couldn't run the motor very long at all and we couldn't make any major changes and the motor is extremely fat if you couldn't tell with all the smoke coming out of it and everything that was alcohol smoke and plus it was flaming up and shooting out flames and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, that's a big sign of it being super rich. So we've got those issues to work on. Uh, next up, I hope I've got the timing lock situation fixed. I got a different one. Hopefully this one will work and we'll go from there. I'm not quite sure what's happening with the timing lock issue. I've read some stuff with coil packs that only certain timing lights will work. I don't know of that. So that's something I'm about to learn here, what's going on with that. Uh, next up, um, the oil pump belt is um, offset a little bit. If you guys can see the gear right there, see how the belt is pushed back. That means either the pump needs to go that way or that gear on the mandrel needs to come out this way. So we got a little bit of adjustment to do there to get that fixed up. Uh, problem I ran into was the pulley that I'm using for the alternator up here on the mandrel that one right there Yeah, that one is actually too small uh, We need to go to a larger pulley the gear ratio on that is too close to one-to-one -one. So what's happening is it's not charging up the battery in the trunk good enough that I want um, This alternator should charge it no problem But what's happening is it's not spinning over fast enough and how I figured that out was as soon as I revved the motor up, the battery started charging like crazy. So that told me that the RPMs in the gear ratio is, 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 too, is too one to one. It needs to be offset a bunch. So we're gonna fix that problem. I'm gonna order a new pulley to go on that. We're either gonna go with a four inch or a five inch. I gotta measure that one, see what it is. I'm not quite sure what the diameter of it is. So we're gonna go up to the next size and that should fix that problem big time right there. Uh, up next, uh, the blower belt is a little bit loose. Um, I, I'd like to tighten that up a little bit. We need to work on that some. Um, these valve covers, this is something that this motor didn't come with, okay? These are Big Chief Pontiac style valve covers, right? That's, that's what goes on these heads that we have. But the problem is when I got the motor, it had sheet metal customized uh, valve covers on it and it actually had bulges if I can find those valve covers I'll look for them and I'll, I'll put a screenshot of it in here it had bulges right here to clear 
some of the big rocker arms up here on the top. The bottom was fine, but uh, up here, up here at the top, those those there were one or two of them that they had made some clearance on to fix some clearances. So I didn't hear any valve train problems in here. I think that's okay, but we'll double check it. I need to take it apart and check things and all that stuff anyway. So we'll pull valve covers back off of it. I'm pretty sure all that's gonna be fine, but it needs to be double checked before it gets run again. We got that going on. Up next, and this is an issue that I've got to do some researching on. I ain't quite found the problem yet, or excuse me, the solution yet. I need to put some sort of filter or screen on here really badly. Uh, but the problem is the snout right here sticks out past this flange. Um, there's only certain types of filters that can actually handle the amount of CFM that's coming through it. It'll actually collapse certain filters and stuff. So we gotta be careful with that. Um, and also this diameter here is so large, there's not much out there that can fit it that is screen wise. I know uh, Turbo Smart or something like that has got some, um, um, it's made out of like grate or like grating or like wire mesh stuff that they use as like a filter to help keep from rocks or bags or anything like that from going in. And we just need something because what's happening is this is a perfect area to lay tools on when you're working on the motor. See like this right here? See how easy that is to do? Well, guess what that does right there? It sucks in a ton of air. So we gotta do something so we don't mess up. We, we really do. Um, luckily nothing has went through the blow or anything yet, but that's gotta be fixed. Um, so if you guys got any suggestions on that, uh, send me pictures or send me links so I know what it is that you're talking about because I'm having a really hard time finding something for that. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Oh yeah, last thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm wanting to take the oil filter off of it and cut it apart and check the oil filter and see what the oil's looking like in there. I'm sure it's milked up. I know it was inside of here, but uh, I just want to make sure we ain't got no metal shavings or anything like that. Um, we just gotta go from there. But we're looking good, guys. Very exciting. Uh, you guys sit back. We got a lot of maintenance and a lot of work to do, and we're gonna get after it. All right, guys, we got the plugs out. I'm just kind of test using this whole stand thing here right now, trying to figure out if I like it or not, what I don't like. And uh, plus it kind of lets me look at it. I know it's kind of falling off of the fuel rails right now. Here we go. But uh, I'm still trying to figure that thing out. But we just got the plugs out. Uh, we got new ones that we're going to put in. We're going to check a gap on these and see what was kind of running the motor. And then we'll gap the new plugs and put the new ones in it. All right, guys, time to get these old valve covers off here and do a little bit of checks on uh, the inside of the valve covers and also on the valves as well, uh, just to see if the rocker armor's got any damage on them, that sort of thing. But everything looked good. Everything was in good shape. I've just been a little bit overcautious there. Um, now it's time to move on and get the uh, spark plugs out of it and uh, gap those bad boys and uh, get, get ourselves a new set of plugs in there. Uh, old dad ended up stopping by and helping me get the front end off of the wall and helped me get it back on the car. And I tell you guys, it's it's looking pretty wicked. Actually being able to see this thing with the front end back on it. All right, guys, we just got the plugs changed out and uh, we're still working on this toolbox just a little bit, changing different stuff, trying to figure out what we're going to do on it. I haven't quite got it figured out yet, but it's going to be cool, I can tell you that. All right, so moving on here from that. Um, I've got the dash pulled out of it. It's sitting there on the side. We got some wiring we got to work on on this, and uh, we got to get the uh, headlights and all that stuff hooked up. So let's rock and roll. Alrighty, guys. Uh, now I need to make up my own harness to kind of go from the firewall to the control panel. Um, I already had the like an original OEM style um, headlight harness I'd bought from Ames Performance but uh, that only got me to the firewall. So I had to extend it from the firewall from the bulkhead connector that we used um, all the way to the control panel box. Um, and uh, that's what I'm doing now is just running those wires, cleaning stuff up 
and now's a great time to clean everything up with the dash off. Uh, next up here, um, I, I've kind of come up with something for the time being to fix this whole filter issue that I'm having. And I'm wanting something to protect my blower and my engine for the time being, and this is what I've come up with. So I had this bell mouth that I got from Pro Charger, and I actually, believe it or not, <laughs> I think I was one of the first ones to get a bell mouth um, before anyone actually bought one for the F3. Uh, that's how long I've had I've had that bell mouth there. So uh, this is what I've come up with for time being, uh, just to kind of you know mock something up to have the ability to have a filter on it and hopefully protect the motor and stuff. Uh, I'm not quite sure if we're going to stick with this or not. We'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, up on next here. It's time to get the T3s out of the box and slap some brand new T3s in this hot rod. I'm so excited about this. And uh, let's check this thing out with a brand new set of T3s and um, uh, brand new headlight rings. All kinds of goodies here. All right, guys, y'all want to see something cool? Oh, we got blinky things. Oh, we got the other blinky thing. Check this out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We're styling and profiling now, boys. We got headlights and we got turn signals up front. Rock and roll. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Man, what an episode. We now have headlights. We now got turn signals up front. Um, next episode, we will be firing the GTO back up. Um, I've gotten a lot of stuff done, and it's time to hear it run again. Uh, I was really wanting to fire it up for this episode for you guys, but it just wasn't quite there yet. Uh, weather wasn't working with us, and also had a few other maintenance things I needed to do. Um, we will be in the next episode hooking up the rear tail lights and turn signals back there as well. So you guys will get to see that. But, um, this episode was cram packed full of all kinds of maintenance stuff, all kinds of fabrication stuff kind of going on and electrical stuff happening. And, uh, man, I'm excited. This is really, really cool. Um, I hope all y'all had a Merry Christmas. I know we did. The family was good. Uh, working on the hot rod was cool. Starting it up was cool. And uh, all my family was able to be here and all that stuff. So it was really, really awesome. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're super close to 2,000 subscribers right now. I think we're like at 1,920. Uh, so make sure again that you are actually subscribed. Uh, look down below on YouTube, below the video make sure that you are subscribed. That, that really does help us out a lot. Um, thank you everyone who has been commenting down below. All that is a big, big help on YouTube. It really, really is. Uh, the smiley faces, the, the, you know, checking up, seeing what all we're up to, uh, telling me about y'all's builds, all that stuff is really, really awesome. And plus the help, like when like when I've been asking what the heck we're going to do on this filter thing up here, if you guys see something or think of something, definitely send it because I'm not quite sure if we're going to stick with that or not. Uh, we'll see. But um, anyways, it's been an awesome episode. Thank you guys again. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to go over to KillMurrSports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well and definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners till next time you guys have a good one